Black Light. Greetings. I would like to start off by saying may the peace and blessings of righteousness and love be upon you and family. And may we live in unity for a heaven on earth. I'm Brother Elder Blacklight Phenomenal with the flavor supreme, fit for queens and kings. The kind of flavor that will save you. And that born knowledge you won't get in college. From the land of Nod to the kingdom of God. Rise and shine is unity time. This one is designed with my black brothers and sisters around the world, the planet in mind. It's wake up time, y'all. The alarm clock been going off for some some years now. So we got the kind of flavor that you will save you. What I meant by save, save you, I meant savor. You know, savor the flavor. That's what I'm talking about. And we got to walk righteous, talk righteous, and be righteous. If you want to get to heaven. I mean, not no artificial heaven, not no artificial flavor like Kool-Aid, but the real thing. Uh, I'm not trying to, I know I don't, I'm not going to get uh, subscribers and because some of you uh, don't hate what I'm, what I'll be saying and what I'm about to say. But I know deep down in the root of my heart and soul, I'm telling you truth that shines like gold. And so what I'm going to talk about now is Detroit, Michigan is where the Nation of Islam first started. And people talk about Master Farah, I'm talking about black brothers and sisters. Talk about Master Farah, talk about Elijah, Malcolm and Farrakhan. But they don't talk about the real corporate, which is white America. Many of you have made befriended uh, white folks because you want to be American. So you, you call yourself African American. And the reason why you put the African in there because you think that's uh, the only place on the planet that we came from. But we came from all over the planet. But you don't know that in your history books because the white man, he don't know it. And if he do know it, he not going to tell you. Because you know why? That make you ahead of time, ahead of him. You were the first. And he so jealous of that. You know, and he knows that... Uh, his time is growing short, but he don't know why. And if those accept the fact that they were grafted from us, some of them do, then they know that they can't do nothing about their time growing short. So they won't take some of your brothers and sisters with them. Because they were made to be 
unrighteous. You know? So we would know the effect of an unrighteous God. You know, we we would know how that would be if the unrighteous God would rule the planet. We got to know because God is all knowing and all wise. So we don't we won't know unless we experience a time when unrighteousness rule the planet. So we could go back to a righteous state of perfected divine order. Everything is out of order due to the unrighteousness of the rule of the Caucasian. Everything is out of order. And <clears throat> this goes to the Muslims all, all around the planet. Look how many different sects it is. Sunni, Sufi, so on. Even in the nation of Islam, those that follow Elijah, those that don't, those that follow Farrakhan, those that follow Malcolm, you know. Look at the Christians, Baptists, Methodists, all different. You got people saying, let's get rid of our religion. So they don't want righteousness nowhere on the planet. You're trying to be righteous. Yeah. So, uh, you got brothers, black brothers and sisters talking against brothers that try to uplift black people. In the meantime, your attention is diverted from being righteous because you're falling in after the footsteps of the devil god, the Caucasian. See what I'm saying? You falling in after them. You don't know nothing about righteousness no more. On the TV programs, on the radio, on the in print, on the newspapers. You just got unrighteousness coming at you from all directions. You don't know that righteousness is going to be what save you. You don't believe there's no such thing as right and wrong. You don't believe that there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things, even though it's in your vocabulary. If it's in your vocabulary, it's, it, it exists. Or it wouldn't have been put in the vocabulary. You see what I'm saying? No matter what language you speak, if it's a right and wrong, it exists. Yeah. If you're going down, a, if you want to get to a certain place and you ask somebody for direction and they give you the wrong direction, then you will never get to that place that you want to get to. And the thing about it, they're doing it intentionally. Why? Because they don't know the right direction. It's not in their being. It's not in their nature. But see, by the black man and woman being the first man and woman on the planet, they were in the so-called Garden of Eden. And then they knew the divine order of things for trillions of years. That's why they were able to build pyramids, pyramids, you know. They had everything, flying machines. Matter of fact, they didn't need no cell phone. They had ESP. 
They were using almost their whole brain. So now what's in their brain is insane. They can't get rid of the chains around their head. So now they are rendered dead. Freddy's dead. The black man's dead. So we're going to wake you up, Lazarus. Wake up, black man. Black light. <laughs>